Hey, are you ready to make some pizza with me? I have all the ingredients that we need. We need flour. Do you see the wheat on the flour? This started off as a grain of wheat. And then somebody planted that grain, that seed, and it grew. And they took the wheat, they cut it, and took it to the mill. And they ground the grain into flour. So this is the main ingredient in the crust of our pizza. So we have some flour. We need some water. We need some sugar, some salt, some olive oil, and some yeast. All right, so let's mix up our ingredients. We're gonna begin with one cup of water. Now I have a measuring cup here. What is the capacity on my measuring cup? The capacity of this measuring cup is two, two cups. I only have it half filled because we just need one cup of water. So I'm gonna pour that water in there. I used warm water because that's gonna help activate my yeast. So we put in one cup of water. Now my recipe calls for two and a half cups of flour. What is the capacity on this measuring cup? This measuring cup will hold one cup. So I'm gonna fill my measuring cup with one cup of flour and I need another cup. So I'm gonna fill this again with one cup of flour. I'm gonna dump that in my container. And then the capacity on this measuring cup is half a cup four ounces. So I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna pour this into my measure, into my container. Good, all right, that's all the flour that we're gonna need for this recipe. Now, my recipe calls for one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of sugar, so I'm gonna Put in one teaspoon of sugar. Ugh, this is Reagan. There we go. I'm just gonna pour that around. And then we need one teaspoon of salt. One teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna pour that in. Then my ingredients say I need two tablespoons of olive oil. So here goes one tablespoon. I'm gonna pour that in. I'm gonna just drizzle that around inside my pan. And I need two. So there goes two tablespoons of olive oil. I'm just gonna set that in there so it doesn't make a mess. Now, I need two and a half teaspoons of yeast. You would not want to eat yeast. It would not taste very good. But this is what kind of makes my pizza dough rise. There's two, and then we just need about half. There we go, pour that in there. All right, now you can take a look inside my bread pan. We're gonna take that over to the bread machine. I'm gonna let the bread machine mix that dough up for us. So we're gonna take this over, drop that in the bread machine, snap it down. I'm gonna turn that on. We're gonna start that machine. You can watch that for a minute, watch that whir around. While you're doing that, I'm going to get some ingredients ready to make the pizza.
think our dough is all done. So let's put a little flour on the mat so the dough doesn't stick to it when we press it out and shape it into our pizzas. So let's just, we don't need too much, just, just a little sprinkling. There we go. All right, now let me move over here and get the pizza out of the pan. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? All right, let me put a little bit of flour on my fingers so it doesn't stick to me either. Oh, look at that. Boy, our dough looks fantastic. All right, now, if we were gonna be doing this at school today, you know what I would do? I would cut this ball of dough into four sections. So let me go ahead and do that. Oh, look. I'm gonna cut it in half first. So I'm just gonna go like that with my dough cutter. Now I have two halves. Hey, I had one circle and now I have two half circles. All right, now I'm gonna cut this again. I was gonna look like I kinda have cut my circle into triangles. That looks about even. Hey, look, we cut our circle into four pieces. All right, so I'm gonna roll, I'm gonna take one triangle and I'm gonna roll it into a pizza. You can shape your pizza dough any way that you want. You could have a heart-shaped pizza if you want. I'm just gonna use my fingers to press this dough out Maybe I'll make a heart, maybe I'll make a heart-shaped pizza. How about that? Oh, you know what? Let's make a pizza for Queen Bet. All right, I think they like pizza, so let's go ahead and make a pizza for Queen Bet. So I'm just gonna keep using my fingers to press that out. I'm gonna keep pressing, keep pressing. And I'm gonna Pull this down here like this to maybe make a little heart-shaped pizza for Queen Bet. How about that? We'll kind of make it a little more pointy at the bottom. I think she'll like that. Good. A little more. We got this. And we're going to have a little crust on our pizza too. All right, so let me get a little crust on the pizza here. I'm just going to fold my edges over like this a little bit. Good. Turn this, just keep folding my edges over. Give me a little crust on my pizza. Good, that kind of looks like a heart, I think. Maybe a little bit. All right. Get a little point down there at the bottom. This is shaping up here. Do you think that kind of looks like a heart? Maybe. All right. Now, we need to do one more thing with this pizza. I'm gonna get a fork and I'm going to just prick my dough with a fork because I don't want any big air bubbles in my pizza. All right, so I'm gonna just Put a few pricks on my, you can use a fork if you want. This is gonna make sure we don't get any huge air bubbles in our pizza. Mm -hmm. Okay, fantastic. We have Queen Bet's heart-shaped pizza here. And let's make one for King L. We're just gonna make the one for King L in the shape of a circle. I think he would like that. So I'm just once again gonna take my fingers and I'm just, oh, this is such good exercise for your fingers. I'm just going to press my dough out. I'm just going to keep pressing my dough. Good. It's good exercise. It's really fun to play with dough. Have you ever been to a restaurant where they give you dough to play with while you wait for your food to come out? That's kind of fun. All right. 
That looks pretty good. I'll stretch it out a wee bit more. You could even take your dough and kind of toss it around if you want, like that. Good. Oh, the pizza is going to be so good. What do you like on your pizza? Do you like sauce on your pizza? You know, some people don't like sauce on their pizza. Do you like cheese and pepperoni or just cheese? All right. I think this is pretty good. Maybe we're gonna, just going to make a little crust for King L. We're just going to keep folding the edges over. That's good. Keep folding the edges over. I'm just going to turn that for myself here. Good. And keep folding over the edges. All right. Fantastic. All right, so there's King L. So let's give that a little prick. Okay. Now, I think what I want to do, I'm going to bring my pan over that we're going to cook these on. You know, if we were at school, I would have a pan like this, and I'd have your name on it somewhere so that I knew whose pizza belonged to who. So we're going to just throw these on our pan here like this, and we're just going to kind of put our toppings on right now. So let's see, we need a little bit of sauce. So I have some sauce here. If you want to know my special recipe for sauce, you can have your mommy ask me. Just put a little bit of, and we're going to use the back of our spoon, and we're just going to kind of smooth that sauce around. There we go. All right, excellent, good. Do you think Queen Bet likes pepperoni on her pizza? I think she does. I think she likes pepperoni and cheese. So we'll make one with, we'll make hers with pepperoni and cheese. How about that? All right. And on King L's, let's put some sauce on King L's. We'll put a little spoonful there. Just use the back of the spoon. When you're cooking in the kitchen, sometimes it's fun to taste the ingredients. So when you make your pizza at your house, maybe you want to try the cheese. Maybe you want to eat a pepperoni. It's kind of fun to do that. All right. Now let's put, let's sprinkle on some cheese. I have some cheese here. This has been shredded. So we're just going to throw some cheese on our pizza. Just kind of spread it out. Oh, this is going to be good, good, good. All right. Let's. Put some on King L's. Good. Oh, it's looking yummy. All right, now some pepperoni. Let's put some pepperoni on Queen Bet's pizza like that. And should we put a face on King L's? Maybe we can make a face on King L's. I'm going to cut the pepperoni in half so we can make the mouth. There we go. All right. Let's put these into the oven to bake. We're going to bake these for about, oh, maybe eight minutes in the oven. There we go. Oh, I can hardly wait to see how those turn out. Mmm. Kitchen's gonna smell so good. My timer says end. E N D end. And I think the pizzas are ready to come out of the oven. Ooh. Do those look good? Oh my goodness. There's King L's pizza and Queen Bet's Pizza. Well, we'll let those cool down and then we'll take them to King L and Queen Bet. <gasps> Yum! Those pizzas are making me hungry. Do you wish you were a pizza? I got the pizzas for King L and Queen Bet. 
Let me see if they're home. hear anything in the castle. What? Oh, ring the doorbell again? Okay. Maybe King Al has his headphones on? It is very quiet. You think I should call? All right, let me see. Let me call King Al. Uh, let's see here. Uh, It's ringing. Oh, it's going to voicemail. Hey, King L, this is Mrs. Reagan. I'm uh, outside the castle. We made pizza today with K4, and we, we made some for you and Queen Bet. I know during social distancing, it's nice to, to bring food to people. Yeah. So I'm going to leave it outside the castle for you, okay? All right. I hope you and Queen Bet have a wonderful Wednesday, and maybe we'll talk to you later. Okay. All right. Bye. Not home. So I got a little note here. I wrote to King Al and Queen Bet, and I'm just going to set this right up here for them. There we go. And uh, they can get that when they get home, okay? Oh, boy, that was a busy day, Queen Bet. Do you smell something? I do, King Al, but it smells better than that burn smell that was in the castle yesterday. I know, it smells like delicious pizza. It, it sound, smells like it's coming from the classroom. Let me go up and check. Oh, oh. well, what do we have here? Queen Bet, come up. What is it, King Al? Look, Bet, somebody left us something. Oh, oh, for goodness sake, somebody brought a meal to us. Well, there, there's a note there. Let me see. Oh, it's from Mrs. Reagan. Uh, dear King Al and Queen Bet, K4 made pizza today, and we brought some by for you. Have a wonderful Wednesday, Mrs. Reagan. Aw, they, they made pizza for us. That was so nice. Oh, that was so nice of them. That was kind-hearted. It sure was, Bet. Oh, I can hardly wait to eat the pizza. Me too, King Al. Oh, that was kind. <laughs>